Hi, today we're going to learn how nth roots, radicals, and rational exponents. So first thing we're going to do is find all the nth roots. So what are the real cube roots? Now cube root means 3. So in other words, what times itself 3 times is 125? Well, we noticed that 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So that means the cube root of 125 is 5. And the fourth root is what multiplied to itself four times is 16. Well, we got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. But we also have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is also 16. So that means the roots of evens are positive negative, but the roots of odds are just positive or negative. So like this, the fourth root of 16 would be plus or minus 2. So what is a rational exponent? A rational exponent is just another way of writing a root. So for example, 16 to the 1 fourth is the same as saying the fourth root of 16, which we've already said is plus or minus 2. So if it's in this where it's got a number on top, that means we're going to take the third root, but we're also going to square it. So this is the third root of 23 to the second power. You can look at it that way, or you can look at it as the third root of 23 and then square it. However you want to think about it. It's the same thing. So when we talk about fractional or rational exponents, what we're talking about is the bottom creates the root and the top is basically the exponent or the power of it. And so you can go forwards and backwards. So if you go from a radical, it can be one over it. If you have a fractional, basically the one on the bottom goes outside, the one on top, or the one on the bottom goes with the root and the one on the top goes outside or inside, depending on how you want to write it like this. These two are exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you write the exponent on the inside or outside doesn't make a difference whatsoever. So how do we evaluate these things? Well, you can just type it in a calculator. Okay, so for example, if you type this in a calculator, you go 32 with the little caret or exponent function, whatever you have, and do 3 divided by 5, and it will give you 8. But if you think about it differently, what's the fifth root of 32? It's 2. What's 2 to the third power? Eight. That'd be exactly the same thing. So with the negative exponent, we first write it as a fraction. And so what is the third root of 27? Well, that would be 3, which would be 3 squared is 9. And I highly recommend doing the root first and then go from there. So this one, if it's already a radical, let's write it as a fractional exponent, so 50. And since 4 is connected outside, we go 4, 3, goes on top because it's the exponent. And now all we got to do is type this in a calculator, and you get around 18.8. Go ahead and try this problem. Try this problem. Now, when we're talking about simplifying these radical expressions with nth roots, basically what you do is we're going to do the one-fifth for everything. So we're going to go rewrite this as 32m to the 15th to the one-fifth. And now we're going to distribute the one-fifth to every exponent. So we have 32 to the one-fifth, and then we have one-fifth of 15, which is 3. And 32 to the 1 fifth is just 2, so you end up with 2m cubed. Same with this one. We write whatever's on the inside, and we're going to take it to the 1 fourth. So 1 fourth of 20 is 5. 1 fourth of 8 is 2. And that's it. Go ahead and try this problem.
Now, we can use roots to solve equations. So the way we do this is we solve for x like normal. So divide by 2. So we have x to the fifth equals 32. And now to get rid of the exponent, we could do the root function, but I'm going to use the fraction instead. So this is the same as 32 to the 1 fifth. And since this is odd, basically, we just have one answer, which is 2. If it was even, by the way, we'd have plus or minus. Or if this was negative 32, it'd be negative 2. Go ahead and try this problem. 